My name is Scott Plaus. I'm a professor at Wesleyan University where I teach social psychology, that is the scientific study of how people think about, influence, and relate to one another. And I'd like to talk to you just for a few minutes about an educational approach that I call action teaching. Action teaching is two-pronged. It contributes to the betterment of society, for example, peace, social justice, sustainable living, at the same time that it educates students. Let me give you just a few examples. If you teach about persuasion or fundraising, maybe students raise actual funds and donate thousands of dollars to a woman's shelter or other nonprofit, maybe a nonprofit that the students choose. Uh, if you teach English as a second language, Maybe the reading materials educate students about homeless people in an effort to avoid having them stereotype or stigmatize or dehumanize people who happen to be homeless. If you teach science writing, maybe you give the students an assignment to submit a letter to the editor at a newspaper about a science-related controversy. These examples are just three out of 40 uh, award-winning examples that are described on a website I maintain at actionteaching.org, actionteaching.org. This is a very different uh, kind of approach than traditional forms of education, where the teacher trains the student and then hopes that at some point in the future, the students will contribute to society in some undefined way. With action teaching, it's very different because the contribution to society is immediate and direct, as well as the contribution to the student. So I find that what happens in action teaching often is that society, meaning the outside world, the world beyond the classroom walls, offers up a, a richer and far more memorable learning experience than would otherwise be possible. Whether the experience is a classroom activity, a student assignment, a field experience, or what have you. I've been incorporating action teaching in my own classes at Wesleyan for something like 25 years. But about five years ago, I got a special opportunity to use action teaching on a much larger scale than I had before. I was invited to give a social psychology MOOC, that is a massive open online course uh, through Coursera, coursera.org. And in 2013 and 2014, the course ended up enrolling over 700,000 students from about 200 countries, which actually made it the largest synchronous course uh, ever given. Uh, just to put this into context, 700,000 students is equal to the number of students I teach at Wesleyan in any given year times 40 centuries without sabbatical. So a much larger uh, number than anything I could have imagined. And in that course, I included action teaching components uh, just to give you one example, I included a form of an assignment that I've been giving at Wesleyan since the 1990s called the Day of Compassion. The assignment, the Day of Compassion assignment, challenges students to live 24 hours as compassionately as they possibly can and then analyze the experience from a social psychology point of view. How did it feel? What did they do? How did other people respond? Uh, what elements of social psychology did they use in order to carry out the activities and so forth. The exercise and the result ended up being that thousands of students around the world learned about the psychology of compassion, but also, not just that, they were compassionate themselves for 24 hours in ways that were deeply consequential. Uh, children ended up being protected from physical and sexual abuse. In some cases, marriages were saved or uh, estranged family members were reunited with family members. Um, homeless people were cared for. I mean, just amazing outcomes uh, that generated really transformational learning opportunities. Also in the course, students who submitted the very best work received a Day of Compassion Award. There was a grand prize winner and 10 runners up that included an expense paid trip to meet an icon, a worldwide symbol of compassion. In 2013, that person was the Dalai Lama, and in 2014, it was Jane Goodall, also known for her compassion both with animals as well as people. An updated version of the course, I'm pleased to announce, just released, just opened up about a month ago, including a new 
Day of Compassion Award. So for students interested in learning more about social psychology or interested in trying out the, uh, the assignment, uh, you're most welcome to enroll. Uh, the uh, course includes uh, 50 free videos as well as free reading materials uh, and, of course, the award. For teachers, I hope that you'll visit the Action Teaching website, actionteaching.org, and consider adding some action teaching components to your own lessons and your own courses, whether you teach elementary school, uh, secondary school, high school, college, grad school, uh, or other venues. Uh, all the materials on the website are free for teachers to use or adapt as they see fit. In sum, it's just an enormously gratifying experience to see students learning and at the same time contributing to the greater good. So uh, come visit the website and use whatever you find is useful there.